Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Road again last night, that darn snow. But it's sunny and glorious outside. And that means a lot coming from someone who hates winter. I hate winter, you guys. Oh, what about those uh, black bins for food? Well, let's go look, let's go look. We are at the tax store and it is Black Friday sales. Whoa, it's Black Friday sales. And maybe our blanket will be cheaper. Yesterday we showed up and had to order a blanket and we couldn't buy it because it wasn't here. Maybe it'll be cheaper today. Well, Muck buckets? Gray. They're gonna blow away though. Oh, that's heavy. heavy I still rubber. think it would blow away, but it's cute. Is that a water tub? Yeah. Yeah, but we can use that for hay. 15 gallons. Plus it'll be by the, uh, these ones will blow away. For yeah. Me. Yeah, they're nice. 55 bucks. But I mean, that's pretty good. For like a little, just to throw our hay out in the field in the mornings, yeah. so it's not on the ground. One for each horse. So the thing is, we want our horses to to be able to stretch their neck down and eat naturally. We don't want the hay to blow away. So that's basically what we're looking for. Well, yeah. So it's not that deep, though. The hay could blow away still. So. Yeah, that's true. This is actually nice. It's nice and heavy too. I didn't see that one down that stairs down there yesterday. Did you? It's a 78. That's the most common horse blanket size. The thing I don't like about this brand is that the latches are the, this thin metal. There are other latches that are nicer. Like these are, these don't, I don't like the latch. All right, let's go inside. It's cold. Oh, look at that cute, cute puzzle. I love that. Puzzles. What else do they have here? Christmas cards. Oh, those ones are adorable. I love those. Sophie, these are pajamas. I don't like the feeling of them. Oh, I love the feeling of them. They're adorable. Oh, look at it. No tax. We got our blanket today when there's no tax. Yeah, good luck. That was amazing. I literally just said to you, but then we got it today instead of yesterday because it's... Yeah, so lucky. Oh, what's that? They have a little Christmas tree in here now. Oh, a blanket. Oh, it's soft. It's really soft. I think I've seen this online, actually. It's cute. So we got the blanket. We don't know if it fits. It's we the had ugly to. One, but... It's the ugly one. All right. So now we're in the dollar store, and we are going to figure out Christmas day. Christmas. Yeah. So it's daytime parade, though. Oh. Really? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Well, they have like little tiny decorations too, which are cute. Like you could make a necklace out of that. Sophie took off. The minute we walk into the store, she's I gone. These. Oh, there you are. These things. Uh, facial cleansing cloths. This is right there. Sophie's big on the beauty thing. Same as Gabby at 13. These are, oh my gosh, this is what we need. You know why? Because as the horses move, it will jingle. They'll jingle. Yeah. yeah. You, we have three pets going. These are cute too. They also have bells like this too that you could hang. Should maybe get one of these too. We'll get this one. No, oh, I want I want the, like the, all the colors. Pretty. I know, but I want all the colors to be red and green. So they actually have little tutus imagine if honey was going to be in the parade which she's not it's too much for a baby yeah we have that no we have a um a demon one. oh my gosh imagine rudolph's red nose I want to get that. by molly or they have this oh my gosh they have a santa suit it's like super cheap looking but I don't know. I say we like buy one and see what it what it looks like. Like it looks super cheap. All right, let's get one. They also have like Santa hats and Santa mitts. That'd be cute. You could wear those. Look, here's um... Look what we found. Oh, oh that's cute for I mean, Molly. These are the actual light ones. The other one, I think we'd have to like. Look what we found. Uh, Look, I got this so, yeah. so that they can like jingle. That's Christmassy. It lights up. Fit my big head. Yeah, it will fit your head. Yeah, oh, I think it's them. cute, Sophie. Gabby found little bows that are Christmas hats. I like this hat though. Like, I think that's adorable. I used to put okay, yes. these bows in Willow's mane. Molly could get a red coat. Oh, 
Oh, I can get a coat for these. Those are warm, actually. They look really tiny. Oh, yeah, really tiny. Yeah, looks like an elf. All right, she's an elf. Hold on. Gabby, do you know what you're going to be? No. You know what Santa has? All I knew is that I'm walking my dog and carrying him. Gabby, do you want this for for? That'll fit on me. Molly. This would fit Molly. Like you just put their arms through it and on sure. their back. All right. Sam wants me to make Gracie a reindeer and put this on her head. Penny wouldn't let Sam catch her. And then I came out, she looked at me and then let him catch her. Isn't that crazy? Cause she doesn't let me catch her either. <laughs> Penny gouged me the other day. <coughs> Why I did... called her and she gouged me. So he called her and she galloped to her. She stops a little while. She doesn't her. like you. Yeah, she's used to me and Sophie. You want me to take her? All right, come on, Penny. Okay, so we got our, I had to buy this cord to extend the two things, because I only had one wire. But I got the uh, water heater in there, it worked pretty good. This one is a, this one's an actual good water heater. The only problem is, what do you think the problem is? What doesn't work? Well, yeah, it doesn't work, but you don't know, do you know why it doesn't work? Your mom took the lawnmower to it and cut it. Oh. So the end of it is missing. So either I have to jimmy up another end to it, but I think I'm just gonna uh, just leave it for now. Maybe switch the heater to that one, and when it thaws out, then I got water to pour in that for now. So what we're gonna do is what I'm gonna try and do. The ground is too soft. I didn't like the horses out here on the soft ground because that just wrecks the grass. And that's why we never put them out here on mushy spring days and stuff like that. But my plan is to bring that shelter over there and bring it closer to here. Like I said, probably in the previous video that I wanna, I don't know why it's so far away. Cause when it rains, we have to like hike all the way to the shelter to get them. So it makes more sense to have it close to the gate. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move that. And I don't know when we're gonna move it because the ground is soft and I was gonna drag it. I was hoping that the ground would be frozen so I could drag it to the front here. So now I either gotta wait till it gets cold and the ground's frozen or I have to call a buddy of mine to come with his big tractor. He's got a, a humongous tractor and he could like lift that up and move it. So uh, my plan was to try and get it done this weekend, but it's supposed to be a snowstorm tomorrow, like 15 centimeters. So once I got snow there, that's going to suck. So I'm going to have to see how it goes and hopefully get it done by next week. So you guys know we picked up Willow's new blanket and we don't even know about the size. That's called like bad, bad horsemanship right there. Not knowing your horse's size. Um, but when I walked Penny in, she had these pieces of ice in her feet. Like, look at that. So that is huge. So Penny will ground tie. So if I just drop her lead rope on the ground and just ask her to pick up all of her feet, she will do that. And thank goodness, because being having horses at home means that you can pick their feet every single time they come in from the snow. And they don't end up like with ice packed out in there and problems that happen from that. I'm gonna put one on you. All right, so no, let's, let's bring her in. Well, can I put one on honey first? Yeah, put one on honey. Let's bring her in and change her blanket. And we also decided that honey's getting a blanket because. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that needs to. That needs to be a thing. That is so cute. We had noticed that she doesn't go outside anymore. Like ever since the snow came, she doesn't go outside to Wait, eat. Come back here. The other horses will be running around outside, and she'll be like inside. And I think it's because she's she, the wind is cold. So we're gonna put her blanket on. We're wimps. We're not good at, at that. When I was a little girl, I used to have babies. Like dolls used to be my she's big thing. Own. I had them till I was like 10 years old, 11 years old, and I loved them. Sophie was the same. And I would, before I go to bed, I put all the dolls, all my baby dolls around the end of my, like the side of my bed up against the wall. And I would sleep on the other side and I would cover all of them up with a blanket. And I would wake up in the morning and if one of the 
babies wasn't covered and it, I would just cry and cry and cry like even at 10 that my doll was uncovered and it would be cold and cold is like a big thing for me like if I it's a trigger for me if I feel like somebody's cold like a child or a baby or a horse or an animal like it crushes my heart and I just don't have like the ability to say oh you'll be good little baby you'll be fine out there in the snow and the cold and the wind because you have a nice blanket made from God even though I know that and I believe that with my rational heart and I think that's a big thing with horse people like we think with our heart instead of our head sometimes and so she's gonna blanket on like I just I don't know I don't know you look so cute in pink pink is for sure her color you look so cute in red we're gonna put your new blanket on you and you have a bow for pictures you got white and red and green cute we have all oh look at her I want more she says <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what she was saying. Just keep thinking like if we blanket the baby, then we're gonna have to keep blanking at her and she's gonna grow in like a weed. So she's gonna have like two or three blankets this whole season. I don't know. What do you guys think? Sophie really wants to blanket her. Sam has our kitty mat out, so this is where her food is over here. So this is where she sleeps, but I think we need to put like a cocoon around it, some place that she can um, get in and there's no wind and then put this heated mat. So it's turned on and it's heated for him. Who knew we'd be buying bows again. So we're just gonna try the blanket, see if it fits. We'll save that one because Honey might fit that one one day. All right. I think the blue probably would have looked nicer on her. I know. Would have popped on her. I know, but they didn't have the blue in her size. Oh, you're cute in it. You go fatty. Willow's not hard on her blanket. Yeah, I fall every horse fatty. Wow, it's not too big. So everyone says that minis are the ones to least likely get cold, but this mini literally was the one. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it might just be that one blanket. All right, we'll do it Isn't up and let's see. Not, uh, kind of. Do it up and let's see. All right, I think it's good. I think it's good, you guys. What do you think? It's you like it? How do you make this bigger? It always be bigger. All right, I like it. What do you think, Willow? It's so cute. Who's that for? Uh, that goes, yep. Yeah. And then her tail goes over it. So Sam was telling me this story about Honey today. Awesome. Were you here with Dad this morning when he put the horses out? No. Sophie's a little late this morning. Usually she's the first one in the barn, but the funniest thing. Sam was telling me this story this morning. She went right out this morning, found the horse's grain buckets, like the big horse's grain buckets, and she went right over to them. He said she does it every single day. She picked up one grain bucket. It was completely empty, and she threw it up in the air. Wow. and then walked outside. <laughs> Sam said he was sad that he didn't catch it on camera because it was really, really funny. Look how much she's grown though. Like you can totally see how much she's grown. She has grown so much. Like her bump, she's even more bump high than she was before. Hey, so if he's just getting off all the shavings before she puts on her blanket. It's just hard seeing her out there with no blanket on. She has super cute little feet. And she's so good. She's still getting used to balancing on three feet, but she's doing really, really well. Yeah, she's doing so good. Minnie's learned so fast. But see how straight her back, see how straight her back feet are, her back legs are? That's why one of the reasons that her, she has sticking stifles is because her feet are just, her legs are just so straight. All right, there we go. <laughs> Little Minnie has her blanket on. So there we have two new blanketed babies. Yeah. I'm nervous to leave her out here with her blanket on because you know what babies are like. Aww. Oh, I'm gonna leave Sophie down here for the next couple of hours just so she can watch her and see how she's like moving in her blanket <laughs> and make sure she doesn't like 
I don't know. Babies are so, like, you never know. She could get her foot caught somehow. The straps are all nice and tight. So, I think she's okay and she's handling it okay. She probably had a blanket when she was first born, like a, a dog blanket. Hopefully, the blanket thing works out. But anyway, now all of our horses are blanketed and ready for winter. All right. You stay down here. Watch your horse. And I'll make something to eat for us and I'll bring it down, okay? Okay. Don't you know that you're beautiful?